I am here with Ashley, and Ashley is a senior at the mm -hmm. high school, and she was inside the building when this was going on. And Ashley, if you can just talk to us about what you heard, how, how everything happened. Um, I was just sitting in the classroom. It was just like a regular day. Class had just started, and, um, and then all of a sudden we heard a really loud noise go off. But as you know, with all the construction and the renovation at our school lately, we've been, we've been hearing a lot of loud noises lately. But um, my teacher, he did exactly what he was supposed to. He looked out into the hallway, and when he came back, you could just see on his face that something was wrong. He was like, guys, there's a shooter. So we all frantically, some people started hiding. Um, one of my students knew, and he just busted out the window, and we started shuffling people outside as quickly as we could. Um, a lot of people were crying already. People were screaming. I mean, it, it, was, it was pretty loud. Um, we were, I, I feel like I was just kind of trying to stay calm and get people out the window as quickly as we could. So while my teacher was barricading the door, we were all filing out. I was the last student out of my classroom. And when I, when I got outside, you could just see um, students just running everywhere. We, I mean, I think our staff and our students did an excellent job of following protocol, and we're just supposed to run any sign of an active shooter. Just evacuate as quickly as you can. Um, so I know... Um, high school, middle school students just ran to any house they could get, they could get to as quick as possible to to try and get away and get safe. Did you see any sign of the shooter, or did, how how much did you hear? One yeah. shot, two shots? Um, I definitely heard a couple shots. I don't. I know there was only one student injured. I didn't see anything. Um, all I can all I can give you is what I what I heard. Recounting it now, I mean, what's going through your mind? Do you remember everything? Was it over in a flash? Um, yeah, it did happen quickly. I, I do feel like I, I remember what happened. Um, I know I, I didn't have to go through an experience that other kids did where they actually had to experience it and see it. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was pretty scary. When you're running away, where did you know where you were going? Did you just take off in a direction? Well, thankfully, I have um, an aunt and uncle that live really close to the school, so I knew that that's where I needed to go and that's where I'd be able to be safe. So um, I kind of helped some students head in that direction, and once we got there, we got inside and used the phone, started calling parents, letting people know that we were okay, um, just to try and keep it organized. Any guess on how many students you saw running away from the school? I mean, I know basically the whole middle school and high school evacuated, so if you assume there's about... 80 to 90 people per class that's I mean it's, it's a decent handful of kids now we're here the first bus just pulled up a few minutes ago I think maybe the first two um, why did you feel the need to come here after everything that happened um well I actually came here with my dad he's a fireman and so he's you know helping try and keep everything organized and it's just after going through something like this you don't really want to be by yourself you know you want to be around the people who experienced it and kind of grieve through it together and so I'm just I'm excited to see all my friends and make sure that they're okay yeah. well Ashley thank you so much for your time we really do appreciate it but again this is Ashley she is a senior at the high school out here at Lions Park we do know I think it's the first bus just arrived I believe those are kindergartners they told us that they were gonna deliver the kids here from youngest to oldest so they're gonna start with kindergartners work their way through the elementary school then middle school and I guess any high school students that are left there's still a ton of parents here um, well Ashley I guess one more question for you how do you feel that the police the sheriff's department how do you feel about their response as far to what happened do you think they got here fast do you think it's been organized what's it been like for you I think people are absolutely doing the the best that they can and I was extremely impressed with the students and the staff at West Liberty that we we knew what to do and I feel like we handled the situation as best as we could um, I know uh, the police got there extremely quick and I'm just I'm really grateful to be able to live in a town where um, we we all care for each other and we all we all want to want to keep everyone safe well, Ashley, thank you again for your time. Eric, Megan, we're going to send it back to you. But again, the first bus has arrived, and I have been told that they are going to take the kids off the bus one by one. I believe they're going to ID parents to make sure that the right children are going home with the right families. And then at that point, once the first bus is through, they're going to send the second one in, and they're going to keep shuttling the children that way. But stay with us. We'll keep you updated.